Okay, let's take a look at which one did better. We've got the Loctite versus the Great Stuff. Well, this one's a gaps and cracks, and this one's a big gap filler. Okay, there's the Loctite. Not quite certain if you're supposed to spray it upside down or not. I guess we're going to need that other can now. So you can see the Loctite can's a little bit smaller. Loctite can was a couple bucks more. The great stuff definitely did fill a lot more. I did like how the Loctite went on better. Uh, it, it does claim it's four times more dense, which I could believe that. It is definitely less volume, uh, but it seemed to stick better. Okay, this is what it looks like after last night. Okay, I've got that all trimmed up. Um, so that does look like it is more dense uh, than this down here. This has some larger, larger gaps. Okay, here's what one more can looks like in here. Filled that top pretty good. I went a little bit slower this time and it seemed to work better, a little bit better coverage. Okay, here's a look after about 30 minutes. Oh yeah, it's already starting to harden. Both products do a great job of what they're intended to do. Uh, it's expanding foam, uh, but if I were to make a selection of one over the other, uh, the Loctite is a little bit more expensive, but I think I would go with that uh, for just about any project uh, I'd have in mind, especially something like this where it's a vertical application. Thanks for watching this Thrifty Garage episode. Please like, comment, and subscribe.